Hello everybody, we're back here. We're gonna play our second preseason game. Progress players, and I gotta actually do some game prep before we start up. So let's see, let's er What do they recommend, I wonder? I really like our young free safety, especially if we invest more time in him. Alright, fine, I'll do that. go let's do it still free safety really I want to do it let's get a quarterback I gotta really try to develop Blake Bortles man Ah, wait a minute. I don't have enough time. No. Fine, we'll do develop Earl Thomas more, I guess. All right, there we go. To the game. Everyone has a better overall than me, god dang it. <laughs> yeah. And I think I have too many series going on right now. I have stuff going on in Madden, I have stuff going on in MLB, I have stuff going on in NBA, which is actually almost going to be done, so I can get the 2K15. Uh, I haven't been back to UFC in a while, and then I have my weekend stuff, and I plan on doing some WWE 2K15. Here we've got a pair of running backs. Uh-oh, Marshawn Lynch. It's Lynch's Bears going up against Lacey's Jaguars. All right, let's go. Now we'll go down no time to waste. Field for this and Devin Hester will be back deep for the opening <laughs> kickoff. All right, I guess so. It's too bad they don't let you actually pick the coin toss. So I normally kicked it. This game, they took that away. Mm, boo. What the freak? Why would they do that? Ah, oh, crap. Alright, alright. Coming onto the field at quarterback. He led suggestions. They want me to run it. With a Fiesta Bowl victory over Baylor and was the offensive uh, Blake Bortles. Blake Now I'm running play action. Alright. By the Jacksonville Jaguars. This guy is big and strong, can move around. That is a great Oh no! That is why I need to develop Blake Bortles. That was a horrible pass. Maybe I should let this offense run Eddie Lacy more. That's why I got him in the first place. Draw play here. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Eddie Lacy is the type of runner you'd like to get him involved early, get him into the game. Why? Because he runs with such. Uh, let's see here. Punish defenses. If you let him do that early, I if I can trick him here, maybe not. <laughs> here for the defense. Offense lines up here. Portals back in shot. Dang it, man! Someone got a fall on it. And so now they'll call on anger to punt the football. No, that sucked. All right, there we go. Now we got to star up Marshawn Lynch. It's first down as they head to the line. They come out in the dime package. Here's the handoff. Lynch off the left side. Dang. Freaking already. 
when a coach can have a run and picks up those kind of yards, it gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. The Jaguars lined up in the nickel. First down and 10. Foles handoff. And he'll go. No! The heck? Has some space to work with. Great spree. Of course, man. We watched him in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the Oh, good. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. Oh, wow. Dude, they went right down the field on me. Holy crap. That touchdown, that puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Count it. Jeez. Bears ready to kick the football. Ah. Right there at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Bears defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Set up screen to Lacey. Ah. He takes the hit and is brought down. As we look at this defensive unit, you have to talk about Lance Briggs, who's been a dominating presence since coming into the league back in 03. Lance Briggs, Jim, he was overlooked for so many years because he's next to Brian Erlacher, but he's one of the best inside linebackers in the NFL. He can cover in the pass game, and we all know he's a tackling machine. That last play was a run. Third down coming up. The Bears come out in the nickel. Lacey lines up in the backfield. Portals standing back in the shotgun. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's a good thing that linebacker knocked that pass down. I don't think he could have caught it. So if you can't catch it, knock it down so nobody else can catch it. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. First down here. The Jaguars go with the dime formation here on defense. Lynch. He's nice. Finally, good tackle. Here's a look at the offensive unit that needs to get off to a strong start today. The Bears take it from the 28. The play to an end. This defensive front has been the talk all week long. And Phil, we met with them in our production meetings this Allen. week. They know they'll have a chance to get to the quarterback Stop today. Stop right now. The Bears will take the snap from the 30. Oh, almost picked. Well, the defense is happy to get off the field. They stopped the third down try by the offense, but they're upset because they had a chance for the turnover, and they dropped a sure interception. Hester's got a chance this time. Face first down. Play fake out to the left. Gets it out for the completion. All right. Finally, I got something. One yard shy of the first down. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Offense lines up here. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. 
He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Lacey is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and ten. Handoff out of the eye. Ugh. He stacked up at that point. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Go, 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 go. Running away from the pressure. Did not get no, he didn't get it. Oh, they make the quarterback get outside the pocket, and there is nobody open. They covered everybody. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Play action. Oh, God dang it. Going in the other direction. Whoa, the quarterback took a big sigh of relief after that throw. That pass was close. It was nearly picked off. Man, I can't score at all. They'll take it at the 20. Probably be a long freaking season. They come to the line and it's first down. And he hauls it in and that picks up three. You got to be able to adjust when you run these drag routes across the field. The throw cannot always be right on target. Can you reach behind, make the catch, and keep going full speed? That's the sign of a good receiver. Second down and seven. Lynch is going to take the handoff now. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. On the way, third down. All right. Get another stop, hopefully. The Bears this time will go with two tight ends. And the second. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Ingram's looking for a place to run, but there is nowhere to go. The offensive line just gets dominated. Good job by the defensive line that time. The Jaguars come to the line to start this drive at the 24. Offense lines up here. The Jaguars have it at the 24. Ah. The 24 yard line. being stopped at the line of scrimmage. It's now second down and 10. Throws the pass and off the mark on that short throw. Third down. Scrambling now. He makes there we go. Finally got something. That's a good job by the quarterback. He has, that's what you call pocket presence. He just felt like he was going to be in trouble, and he was. He gets out under heavy pressure and completes the pass down the field. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Garoppolo's got the football after the play fake. He's got the catch. Hines tackled down at the 39. Okay. Mm. Moving finally. Took a while to actually get a freaking first down. All day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. Nickel formation for the defense here. To the ground. That's ah. That 
it'll be second and four after the running play. Smith's handed the football. Good for only a yard. After that last carry, it's third and three. Smith's playing out of position in the backfield here. Play action fake, looking to throw. Gains 13. The quarterback see cover four, four defensive backs playing back against the deep passes. They know they're going to look for underneath or crossing routes. That time, a good throw by the quarterback to the receiver going across the field. Boss play. Dang it. The Jaguars try to run the football that time down in the red zone. It does not work. I would advise them to go to a different plan and not try that run again. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Reaches out and grabs it. Butler is brought down after picking up 11 on this play. Jim, when you get down the red zone, you have to be very careful as a quarterback not to turn the football over. Good decision that time by the quarterback. Gets the completion. And they get a nice solid pickup that time. First and goal from the six. Toss to the outside. Ah. It's a nice drive by the offense, Jim. They're down. They're driving down the field. Let's see if they can put seven points on the board. And here we have second down. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. This will be second down. What a drive this has been. Takes off with it. Throws to the right. No! Come on, man. Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? you got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time, the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play, and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. On the money. Oh my goodness. Uh. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Takes it from the gun. Looks to his left. Makes the reception. This is turning into quite a drive, Phil. Uh, nice job, Jim, by the offensive coordinator, just mixing the plays up and keeping the defense off balance. Lynch is in the slot, not in the backfield for this play. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. And incomplete and get his feet down. When you see this cover two defense as a quarterback, you've got to know where to throw the football. That time... Hold on a minute. Oh, come on. Take another look at that last one. I don't care. There's no question he caught the ball, but there is a question whether... Come on, I don't care. Well, first off, you want to make sure it's a clean catch on the sidelines. Does he have possession of the football? And then once you declare he has possession of the football, let's look down at both feet, see if they're inbound. Dude, I don't freaking care. You must maintain possession of the football as you go to the ground. Inside the last two minutes, this one had to be instigated by the folks upstairs. They challenged the call on the field, and in fact, it was the proper thing to do. The play is overturned. Yeah, good job by the officials upstairs seeing it, knowing there was a mistake on the field. That's what I love about the NFL. Not afraid to bet, to say they made mistakes and turn them around. And he's forced to the ground. Quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving, you want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Oh, my God. I hate that. You get down the field. Oh, they get a cheap interception. to the 20. The Jaguars offense ready now to see what it can do. 
Split backfield here. First and ten. Oh my god. Second down. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Garoppolo is going to take it from the gun. Launching it deep. And he can't quite hold on to the interception. Well, doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You're losing a football game. Now you're looking at third and long. And look, there are no miracles in the NFL. I'll tell you that. So be smart. If the play is not there, don't force it. Dump it off and wait for the next time you get it. Smith's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Looking long. And they can't connect. What a horrible pass. They love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything. And it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. He'll have a chance for a return. The tackle is made. And with the second quarter coming to a close, we'll step away for halftime and return to the Windy City. Wow, I get no highlights because of freaking... Their defense is freaking stupid, and somehow they get a cheap interception out of freaking nowhere. Both the Bears and the Jaguars are having some trouble moving the ball through the air. The yardage totals are low. And that's helped play into what was a low-scoring first half. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Bears taking control early in the first. The blocking here will free up the run. Heads up picking up 44 yards and heads out of bounds. Bears have it later on the drive. The catch will be made in double coverage. And this will go all the way for a touchdown. That takes the lead up to seven. We go now to early in the second. Paulson's got the catch here on the quick pass, and he ends up at their own 49-yard line. Jaguars end up throwing a pick to win the drum. The Bears are ready to return the kick. Takes off from the five. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Bears are set now for their next possession. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Let's go. Now first and ten. Pulls it in. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Second down and five. Finds his mark. Well, the drag route that time picked up solid yards. These receivers, sometimes they get a little nervous running these drag routes or these short crossers because they are afraid so a defender is going to come out of nowhere and hit them. That's the quarterback's job. See in front of the receiver, lead the guy to the open space. Oh, come on. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. That's a nice play that time by the offense, getting the first down. They're up here in the second half, and they're moving the football. That is a great feeling. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Tight end in motion. First down and 10. And Ingram's got it now on the draw. When you have defensive ends that like to go up the field and they think they're going to get to the quarterback, you know what you do to those kind of defensive ends? You run draw plays and screens underneath them. Take advantage of the fact that they're not reading their keys. Get ready. Three. Three. It's second down and three. Gets it oh, my God. Completion, 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 freaking completion every time. A completion. Come on. Did a good job that time picking up the first down. That's what you want to do. You got a small lead in the second half. Keep getting those first downs and beat that clock up. First and ten. And he's taken down. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by surprise, and they just outnumber them, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. The Bears take it from the 43. Ugh. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. 
Interesting situation here for the offense. They got a lead here in the second half, but it's third and long. And, and you always like to say, the football is in the hands of the quarterback, so he has to be smart. If he tries to force it down the field, I do not like his chances. Third and forever. No! Didn't get the feet down. How did the comp I hate how the AI can just sense that he's open. That, this quarterback shouldn't be able to make that type of freaking throw. Whoever this guy is, I don't even know who he is. down coming up offense lines up here they'll run it here uh. good job by the defense they stopped the offense that time on first down now the defense is in a good situation and now they'll try over again on second down Split backfield here, out of the gun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Smith's tackled down after a gain of five. Cooks in a whole lot of pain right now. We'll take an injury timeout and be back in just a moment. Smith's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Third and seven, has his target. Got a big lane. About time I score. Jeez. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you got to come out there and take advantage of this this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Now of course, it had to be on a screenplay. I score. We have a tie game here. <laughs> Scores seven to seven. First down here. Lynch is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. They'll run it with Mark Ingram. Smith's in on the tackle. It's always good for the quarterback to really do a good job faking the pass right before the draw play. Get the defensive lineman up the field, get the linebackers dropping back for pass, and there's an open gap that the running back took advantage of. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Yes. My gosh, you're talking about getting overpowered. I guess they were expecting a speed move. The right guard and right tackle are both pulled. They get run over and they give up a sack. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Third and ten. Has his man. There we go. Fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Good job by the defense. Yeah, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. All right. Let's see if I can try to score here, get the lead. Marker. They're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Beckham. has got it now. And a flag comes out. Ah. Flipping, I know from your days as a player, that's something that just makes you cringe. Well, it does, and really cringe just for the player because it, it puts them at such a disadvantage, they can't protect themselves, and you're always fortunate if you don't get hurt in, in, when one of these calls are made. Ah. That's second down coming up. Offense lines up here. Two, 
After running it, it's second down. Offense lines up here. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And that's a gain of 10. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Offense lines up here. The Jaguars take it from the 23. He's brought to a halt. Second down now. Still got it after the play action. Hesper's got it. First down. Nice. It takes really good corners to play a defense where you challenge the wide receivers and just play them man-to-man -man coverage. I don't think this defense has that kind of quality corners. First down at the 41. Hines got it. On the ah. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Smith's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Got the completion. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this, to pick up those first downs and keep it going. The give. Taken down at the 45. High he's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Smith flying out of position in the backfield here. The Jaguars come out with a split backfield. There you go. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. First down at the 36. Up the middle. Ah. There to make the stop. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That leads us to second down. Time becoming a factor in this game. Three step drop. That's an interception. No. No. No, oh, man. Oh, my God. Well, you're behind in the game. You're figuring how are we going to get this done to get ahead. And look what happens. Your defense gets the turnover, takes it back for a touchdown. My gosh, that will, if that doesn't spur the team on to, to the victory, I don't know what can. Cooks is going to test the coverage here. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Jaguars break huddle and start their drive this time from the 25. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. Ah. I freaking got tired. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. Almost intercepted. Anytime your team is down. Man. You look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Let's go. Second and goal from the nine. 
getting away from the pressure. Garoppolo's pass will go for an incompletion this time. Well, before we see this third and goal situation here, Jim, in the second half, when we know a touchdown ties the game. If they don't make it, are they willing to go for it on fourth down? Coming up, third down, a huge moment. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the nine. Scrambling out of the pocket. There we go. Whew. It is so disappointing when you're down near the goal line and you don't score. Well, the offense doesn't have to know that disappointment this time. Good job, good play call, and a beautiful throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. So now we've got a tie game, but still enough time here to make something happen. Adams going to test the coverage this time. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Bears are getting set for their next possession. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. First down at the 21. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. The defense comes out in the nickel. Let's go! Second and ten. Has his man. They'll mark the football at the 22. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. And he's thrown to the ground. The Jaguars' defense will stop right. the clock here with under two to go as they want to preserve the clock. Quickly will be called on now to I'll the get the ball back. Get a minute 25 to maybe get a, hopefully a field goal or a touchdown. Clock ran out. That ball was never cleanly caught, and it's on the ground. Ah. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. Let's go. The Jaguars will take the snap from the 40. He'll keep it on the play fake. They're gonna get it. Dang it. A lot of yardage to make up here after that sack. It's second down. The catch is made. That's a gain of 10. Well, when you play this cover, cover four. In other words, you got four defenders playing deep, equally spread across the field. Well, who's going to cover the end cuts and underneath? Nobody. That's why the quarterback got an easy completion that time on the end run. The Jaguars have it at the 39. Now on the move. Nice. To leaves there that time for the tackle. It's late in the fourth quarter. You got a close game. It's third and 10 plus. What a play call that time by the offensive coordinator. And a nice throw by the quarterback. And they pick up a big first down. Ford's there to catch the ball. That got him. Now the offense is down here in the red zone or the green zone if you like to think of money. And it's a tie game. A lot of things you could do. They love to throw it in the end zone, but maybe they'll cross uh -huh. the run. We'll find out. First down, offense readying for the snap. Smith's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Hyde's going to secure the handoff. And that's a two-yard game. The Jaguars. Okay. Have to get that clock run down a little bit. What should be coming up? The final play of the game. Lining up now for a pressure kick. The Bears will, of course, call the timeout now to stop the clock. Think you're going to ice me, son? Jaguars with a field goal trying to take the lead here in the fourth. There we go. Jeez. Is underway. I'm sure it does 
doesn't get much better than that for a kicker. The game winner Ooh. at the end. Nah, they live. They that's what they live for, Jim. Yeah, that's what you sit in bed at night and dream about. Kicking the game-winning field goal happened here today. <clears throat> what a great moment for him. So what we got here? Probably some horrible stats. Say Jimmy, 12 for 19, 264 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. I did. I went perfect with AJ McCarron. Blake Bortles, I completely sucked with. Well, you know what? I had a pretty 102 rating with Jimmy. <laughs> My rushing was horrible. Actually, I didn't have any drops. I'm surprised. Hmm. Well, that's the end of that game. It's a close one. Frustrating. 